part one. Hey, 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 you guys. I'm about to get ready and do element readings. Okay. It's air at the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to start with air. All right. So if you are a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this reading is going to be for you. All right. Let me get ready and tap in. Ask my higher self, the most high and ascended master, to help me listen to the freedom. I got love oracle and several. Let's dive straight in. Overall energy, we got the four baskets, so a missed opportunity, okay? So, I don't know if you guys are looking at something as a missed opportunity or somebody in your energy is, but let's see. We got the three of knives, so someone could have been lying, okay? Have cheated, gaslit someone, okay? Left someone heartbroken. All right, that might be the reason why this is a missed opportunity with the six of coins. This could be someone that you were giving to. Okay, caring for. That's what it looks like in this picture. Like somebody's caring for somebody, taking care of somebody. We got the sun card, Leo energy. Hmm. So I feel like somebody in y'all energy. This might not be y'all energy. There's somebody who feels like they missed the opportunity with you. They be heartbroken because you were very given to this person, okay? And things are being illuminated. And this person, whoever this is, they feel like you were their soulmate, okay? And they're feeling wounded with the Nine of Wands, all right, here. So let's see. To be a Leo, whoever this was, it could have been in their ego. We got the Three of Coins and the Star card, Aquarius Energy. Okay, whoever this is, they want to work on things and heal things with you. Okay, it's like this person knows that they broke your heart. Okay, we got the eight of coins and they've been putting in some type of work. Okay, or they want to put in the work to heal. They want to collab with you. They want to work on things with you. We got the ten of baskets. Whoever this is, they see happiness and fulfillment with you. Okay. You can have a family with this person, okay? Or this person just, you know, they want to build a family with you. At the bottom of the car, uh, bottom of the car, the bottom of the day, we got the world car, Taurus energy, okay? You could have closed the cycle out with this person. We got the Ten of Wands, ooh, and the Ten of Knives behind that, okay? This was a heavy cycle for you guys. The Ten of Wands and the Ten of um, Knives is like betrayal, burdens, okay? So it could definitely be someone that y'all have a family with, okay? Or you look as, you know, look as family. So y'all might have closed it out, walked away from this. And this is why this person is heartbroken and looking at it as a missed opportunity. Okay, let's see. We got the High Priestess card, Pisces and Cancer Energy. Yeah, you trusted your intuition and you walked away from this. You released this, okay? I feel like this person, they they regret it. Like, it's like you're emotionally detaching from this, all right? Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. For some, this is like a marriage or somebody that you lived with, okay? They're very nostalgic. They've been thinking about you, how they feel left out in the cold, okay? They want to balance things out. We got the two of swords, but it's in reverse. So this is somebody who's very indecisive. I feel like because you've all, you've already walked away. Oh, and they know that you don't trust them. Whoever this is with the seven of swords, this person knows that you don't trust them. They could have been very deceptive and sneaky in the past. Okay. You could have seen that this person was very indecisive. Okay. They could, like I said, they could have gaslit you, lied to you, cheated on you. All right. With the Eight of Wands coming up at the bottom of the deck, this is somebody who um, is coming towards you and fast. They're, they're trying to resist an ending, Scorpio energy. Ten of Wands. But again, this is somebody who causes a lot of burdens for you, who you don't really trust fully. Okay? This person could have had you indecisive. All right? The Chariot card in reverse. I feel like, yeah, I don't see things really moving forward. For some, you might have some type of car trouble or this person is having car trouble. The chariot car. 
Cancerian energy. We got the ten of coins at the bottom of the deck. They could be saving for money to travel towards you. Okay, disappointed, grieving the guy's connection. They've been in their head a lot about it, about you being single. Okay, want to start a new passion at beginning with you. We got the lover's card, Gemini energy. But I feel like whoever this is, they're conflicted. They're still indecisive. And the seven of nines is here. So it's given like you. they still could be a bit sneaky and deceptive. Okay, we got the ace of knives, truth and clarity. I feel like you're starting to see the truth when it comes to something that <clears throat> you don't want to move forward in or you will be, okay? We got the Son of Baskets in reverse and the Nine of Baskets. Whoever this is, I feel like this is somebody, they see you as wish fulfillment, right? But with the Son of Baskets in reverse, that's about like having romantic feelings, want to take somebody out, all of that. This could be somebody who loves bombs you, like an emotional player. They will love bomb you to get you in this, you know, I feel fulfilled energy. Like they, they want you to feel, they want to, they want you emotionally. Like it's like, maybe you're seeing the truth about this person being an emotional player and you're finding fulfillment within yourself. So it's like they can't play on your emotions, if that makes sense. Okay. We got the four knives at the bottom of the deck. Um... I feel like you've been meditating, learning, watching, observing, whoever this is, realizing how they're betraying you with the Ten of Knives, okay? And that's why you close this cycle out. Gold apart, two. 